Welcome. This is 49C3, and this is the intensity of sound waves. So let's look at this diagram down here. What we see here is we have a source of sound, which is uh, emitting energy, energy per second. It's emitting so much energy per second. Energy per second is power. And that is radiating in all directions. I'm showing a few directions here. And what happens is, as it spreads out, it covers spheres, the surface of a sphere, with ever larger surface areas as the radius gets bigger, as it gets further away from the source. So this same amount of energy per second is spreading out over larger and larger spheres. And so there's less energy per square meter, less energy per second per square meter. If you imagine a little window on the edge of the sphere, less energy per second would come through it if I had a little window there as opposed to a little window there. So the intensity falls off. And we see this actually with light as a, a dimming of the light and we sense it with sound as a quieting of the sound. And so we say the intensity of a wave is the rate at which wave energy flows through a unit area that is perpendicular to the direction of the traveling wave. So the traveling wave is traveling out in those directions and we put this little one meter squared uh, area uh, there and we basically say what's the intensity well the intensity is equal to the power that's the energy per second over the area and so i can say well for a sphere the area is going to be four pi r, four pi r squared and so i end up with that equation so let's have a look at this so a source of sound radiates energy in all directions. The source radiates power is equal to 10 joules each second. Well, that's equal to 10 watts. What is the intensity of the sound? At a point where the radius, the distance is 2 meters. So from there to there, that's two meters. So I say, well, my intensity is equal to the power over the area, which equals the power over four pi r squared. And if I put numbers into this, I see that's 10 watts divided by four pi times two squared which equals 10 over 4 fours is 16, 16 pi. And so quickly go to my calculator. 10 divided by 16, enter, divided by pi, enter, which is 0 0.199 watts per meter square. Notice this is a classic case where you can have an incorrect answer. Just check now. If you put down 10 divided by 16 pi, see what answer you get. You're going to get 10 divided by 16 pi, and you're going to get 1.963 watts per meter squared because it thinks you want to divide by 16 and then you want to multiply by pi so that's not good calculator practice and you got to be you got to train yourself out from that this is the right answer always be careful with your calculator so there we have it